So a little bit of a different video today. I'm going to be reviewing a video from Jason Capital that I saw on Instagram. I think it was yesterday. And I thought, okay, that would be cool to actually address what he says in the video and give my take on it and whether I actually agree with him or not. So I'll play the video in a second, but it's basically uh, Jason giving him his point of view on whether, you know, if you are a, an online coach or a course creator, should you hire a marketing agency to help you with your marketing? So I'll refresh the screen, play the video, and, and then we'll talk through it. Let's give us one second. Most agencies suck. I'm not picking on anyone here. I'm just reporting the truth. I have tons of CEOs, clients, and people have hired all kinds of agencies. And I always pull them. I go, how many of the agencies that you've worked with actually did what they said they were going to do? And I would say nine out of 10 times they say they didn't. And I had to quit with them after two or three months. Most agencies don't deliver it. Okay. So a couple of things here. So he's basically saying that nine out of 10 times you will hire an agency for a particular piece of work they won't get you results, and then you don't end up working with them um, in the future. Now, I'm an agency owner, I run a marketing agency, so he's kind of like attacking our industry. Um, but I have to say, on the whole, I do have to agree with what he's saying, because there's actually a fundamental flaw in the agency system and the timeline that makes it very likely that you have hired an agency and they're just shit at what they do and that they actually don't get results. Not all agencies are like that, but there's a hell of a lot of people and agencies that are like that. And I'll quickly explain why. So let's just look quickly touch on the agency timeline. So since Ty Lopez, you know, made his agency course in like, what was it like 2016, 2017, um, where he basically said the next new business opportunity was to build a social media marketing agency. And it was hugely successful, hundreds of thousands of students. And then since then, there's been this whole agency movement where building a marketing agency is the easiest and the best way to make money online. And don't want to, don't need to like dive into that tangent there, but I would say it is, it's, it's pretty good business to start if you can keep clients because costs are low and you can charge monthly retainers, which means that you get paid monthly by people. So um, yeah, if you can do good work, it is a very good business to start. But again, don't wanna go off on the side tangent. This is basically the, the agency timeline. So someone says that they wanna make money, they wanna quit their job, they wanna build their own business. So they see on YouTube and Facebook and everywhere on the internet, all of these agency owners live in this incredible life that people you know, want to live. And everyone's selling a, hey, I'm going to teach you how to make money with an agency course. So they decide that they are going to start an agency. And that, this is the problem. People are starting an agency because they want to make money, not because they have a skill that they can start an agency with. And this is usually what it leads to. It leads to when they eventually do sign a client, and they will typically sign them on a three month minimum. So they'll work with them for three months. They'll sign a contract that says, hey, we're going to do a 90 day period. Then what happens is they get the client and they themselves aren't skilled in the job that they have promised. So they outsource the work. So there's a lot of agency owners. And I remember speaking to one a few years ago and I think he was doing um, he, he was doing advertising for, I think it was solar companies or it was real estate agents. I can't remember. Um, but I was basically speaking to him and he said he'd made, you know, he was doing like 20 to $30,000 a month. And I said to it, and he ran an advertising agency and him himself, he said he has never run a Facebook ad, but he ran a Facebook advertising agency, but him himself, he's never touched an ad. He's never been in the ads manager because he just outsourced all the work. And even though that seems like a good business model, all you've got to do is sell, outsource the work. There's a lot of problems that come with it. But there's a whole movement of agency owners that, again, start an agency to make money, but they don't start an agency because they have the skill. 
So they end up outsourcing the work. So the success of the agency and the success of the campaign that they build for these businesses has got nothing to do with the founder. The founder on the, on the sales call can promise all everything that he wants. He can sell the dream. He can say, hey, we're going to do this, this, and this. But him himself, for the most part, doesn't have a clue how to do it. So they're purely relying on a freelancer or someone who they are working with and they outsource the work. Typically in the beginning, when you start an agency, a lot of these agencies don't have in-house teams. They don't have full-time team members. They use freelancers and contractors and diff different agencies that they outsource the work to. They are essentially just the middlemen. So their entire, the results of the campaign rely on the freelancer's ability to do the work. And what happens is the freelancer is either not very good, right? And it's like the same problem. They promise the world, but they can't actually do the work. Or because they're not getting the full retainer or the full money for the client, they're only getting a small percentage. They don't actually care enough about the client's work to do a good enough job. They just see it as, oh yeah, this agency is gonna pay me for a few months worth of work. I'm gonna do the work. I don't care if I get results. I don't have to speak to the client. I don't have to communicate with the client. I can just do the work, get paid for a few months, and then you know I'll find some, some of the work. So the freelancer isn't motivated to actually do good work. So what happens is the results suck. And this is typically what happens. The agency owner, say for example, the agency gets paid $2,000 a month. They will try and outsource the work to someone for $500 a month or $1,000 a month so they can keep 50%. But what happens is when you start chat, when you start finding people who will do the work for $500 a month, they typically aren't very good. That's why they're so cheap because they don't have a lot of experience and they're super cheap because they just want money and they want experience. So the agency owner, because they want to keep a, a high percentage of the monthly retainer, they will outsource the work to cheap people who do cheap work. And that's why the results pretty much suck. And that's why the clients leave. And this is pretty much the cycle. And that's what Jason's talking about in the video. Most agencies suck. I'm not picking on anyone here. I'm just reporting the truth. I have tons of CEOs, clients, and people have hired all kinds of agencies. And I always hold them. I go, how many of the agencies that you worked with actually did what they said they were going to do. And I would say nine out of 10 times they say they didn't and I'd equip with them after two or three months. And that's what happens after two or three months. Typically what happens is that the contract finishes, the results aren't there and they leave. And, and typically um, what this whole agency movement has created is basically agencies who go out there and they will try and charge as much as humanly possible for a three month period. Because they know after those three months that the results aren't going to be there and the client is going to leave. So they end up charging these ridiculously high retainers, knowing that after three months, they aren't going to continue. So they can just charge them as much as possible, as quickly as possible before they leave. So it led to people charging like two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 a month for three months. So they would sign a client on a 15 K deal for three months or a, you know, a 6K deal for three months. And they would take the money, they would deliver on the service, the results, they would deliver on the service, but the results would suck. And then the client would leave and they would be okay with that. And it's basically the agency's owner's job to basically just replenish their client base every three months. So they would know that their client is going to leave after three months. So they would just spend all of their time marketing and selling getting new clients to the agency, outsourcing the work. And just as long as they can sign more clients than they lose, then they're going to have a profitable business over the long term. That's why if you ask like most agencies who have been around for like, you know, two, three, four, five years, like how many clients have you been through? It would be like literally multiple hundreds, thousands of clients. Um, and this is where, um, this isn't a video to like sell my agency services or anything like that. For the most part, people who watch this video aren't going to be the type of client that we work with. Um, but for me, before I started the agency, um, we're an advertising agency and I started at mid 2019, officially started getting like my first client. Now, before that, for three years, I had been in the digital marketing online marketing space. I'd been running Facebook ads pretty much every day for a three year period. 
um, and just selling different like affiliate stuff. But I'd learned the skill of Facebook ads. Then from 2018 to 2019, I worked full time for someone and I was the marketer. I was, it was a personal brand. It was for a YouTuber and I built his funnels. I wrote his emails and I ran his ads. So I'd had two years experience of running ads for myself, just little side businesses that didn't really make much money, but you know, I got pretty good at running ads. And then I went and worked for someone for a year where I basically just ran ads and did the marketing for them for like 12 months. And because I'd learned the skill, I then decided, hey, I could probably make money from this skill. And then I started an agency. And in the beginning, you know, when I would sign clients, I would do all of the work. I was a one man show for the most part. I would sign a client and then I would fulfill on the work. I wouldn't outsource it. And now we have a team and stuff like that. But everyone who works for us is in-house. I don't outsource it to contractors or freelancers. Everyone who works on our client stuff is in-house and works for our company. So they're the type of agencies that you want to work with where typically the, the founder or the owner basically started the business by themselves. They themselves have the skill. They themselves understand how it all works. And then maybe they have built a team and maybe they don't do the work on the business anymore, which is totally fine because they've got to grow the company. But what you want to avoid is the people who say they have an agency, but when they sign a client, they just outsource 100% of the work. And you won't even know it happens a lot of the time. They will pretend that the person who they outsource the work to is like the full-time marketer. So it's kind of hard to understand like who is what and what people say is truthful or not. But this is the reason why, you know, Jason in the video is saying that most agencies suck is because most agencies follow this model and where the founder has no skill, they started the agency just to make money, not because they had a skill they thought they could monetize. Um, so that would be my biggest advice. I think it's kind of hard to tell again in the sales process who is genuine, who has the right experience. Because any even like for us, like if you come to our funnel, I suppose, website, you can see like screenshots and stuff of, of the client's results that we've got. And it's cool, right? Like you can see screenshots, but this doesn't tell you that much. And this is our own marketing. And I'm telling you, like, this isn't that strong. The reason why it's not that strong is because it's not like we haven't got like a video testimonial from one of our clients or we haven't got like, hey, this client made this much. And the reason why a lot of agencies can't do that is because a lot of our clients don't really want us to start showing like how much money they're making or like, you know, how much revenue they did, especially like on our clients who have personal brands, who have like a face of the name and they're building a personal brand in a particular niche. They then don't want like their income and their revenue plastered all over the internet. So we respect the privacy of our clients, even if it hurts our own sales because I don't want to showcase like my clients, like income and revenue all over the stop, even though these are screenshots of some of these people here, like we don't link their face to any of these screenshots because we want to create, you know, it fairly private for them. So you'll see a lot of agencies when you start working with them, they'll probably do something similar where they have a lot of screenshots. And obviously these screenshots can be faked, like, you know, you know, you don't te technically know that we made our client 43, um, K in six days. Um, so it comes down to kind of like the trust and the relationship that you build with the agency owner. I would say, and again, this is maybe doing our agency some harm, but um, if you are considering working with an agency, I would at least try and find someone who you can be referred to. So ask around your network, speak to people in your industry. If you know of someone who is working with an agency and they're happy with them, that's obviously like the best way to go. Because if you're a business owner, very likely you've had a million different emails from different agencies called pitching you stuff. And for the most part, it's going to be people who follow this model, who know that their clients stay with them for about three months. So the, the job is basically to charge as much as humanly possible for a three month minimum contract. And then, you know, you will leave after three months and that's okay because in that time they've used that money to go and, you know, pay someone to fulfill on the work so they can just focus on signing more clients. So that would be like the, the biggest thing is try and find someone who, um, yeah, you can be referred to. That is probably the best bet. 
But obviously, like the reason why Jason's making this video, and I can't fast forward it, so I'm gonna pause. Most agencies don't deliver. In my agency, we don't charge any money up front. We do it. So now he's basically saying, and there's a reason why he's making this video, right? It's to actually sell, and he's gonna sell at the end of this video. So he's basically started the video where he's basically said most agencies suck, and he's talking about like. Um, He's targeting like course creators, online coaches, and he's basically saying like, if I speak to most of my entrepreneurial friends, most agencies suck. And the reason why is because they can't, they're not very good at what they do. That's basically what I said, which is fair enough. But then he goes on to say, in my agency, because this is essentially what he's saying, he doesn't say this word for word. Um, he's essentially saying, but because me and my agency are so good, we don't charge any money up front and we just do a 50-50 rev share, which is pretty high, by the way. It depends on what service he has, but 50-50 rev share is very high for an agency. But he's saying, because we're so good, we don't charge money up front. We make a shitload of money because we just do a 50-50 rev share and we put our money where our mouth is and we only earn money if you earn money. 50-50 rev share where some of the biggest brands and influencers come to us, they want... Some of the biggest brands and influencers come to us. So again, this is all framing. He's basically in just this part of the video. He's not selling you on his agency services in this video. He's going to sell you on something else in a second here. But he's basically said, most agencies suck. My agency is very good. Some of the biggest brands and the biggest influencers in the world come and work with our agency. And we get the results because we only get paid if we get results on how selling more of their courses online, we partner with them and we only get paid on the additional there you courses go. that we sell. It's do or die. Do or die. To do that deal is because I've been selling courses online. Again, it's all framing. So agencies suck. My agency is good because we only get paid if we get your results. I've been selling courses online for 13 years. So we're very good at what we do. Some of the biggest brands work with our agency. So he's basically framing like most agencies suck. He's framing his agency at the very, very top of the hill. For 13 years, I know how to do this. It's just a repeatable process. I just want to remind you that the reality is most agencies don't deliver and learning a lot of this stuff yourself is typically a better investment of your time and energy and resources. Now here comes a poorly executed. So he said, most agencies suck. His agency is the best. What you should probably do is because his agency is so good and they only work with the biggest brands in the world, you're basically unqualified to work with us. So what you should probably do is learn how to do it yourself. And segue, do you have a course that you sell? If you do, I just finished a little case study on how I sold $14 million of my own course in only 18 months recently. So if you're interested and you want to copy, just message me the word copy right now, C-O-P-Y, and then me and my team will send you a copy of that right now. So thank you so much for watching. Message there you go. And then he says some other stuff, but that's essentially what the point of this video, right? And there's nothing wrong with it, right? This is just marketing and sales, but I thought I'd also be interested to um, explain the psychological and marketing principles behind like this video and actually dissect it on what he's actually doing. So again, recap, he said, most agencies suck. You shouldn't use them. Then he's framed his agency at the very top of the hill and basically said, Look, we work with some of the biggest brands and the biggest influencers in the world. We were different to other agencies because we do a 50-50 revenue share model. Like we only get paid because we get results. So he's framed his agency at the very, very top, but he's framed it in a way that you're not going to, you're not the biggest brand or the biggest influencer in the world. Like the people who watch his content aren't necessarily the biggest brands and the biggest influencers. They are kind of like the people who are just looking to try and make money. So he's basically disqualified everyone who watches his video from working with his agency because he said, we work with the biggest people. So he said, the best chance you've got to succeed is somewhere in the middle where you learn to do it yourself. Then he goes into his obviously CTA where it's like, hey, if you want to learn how I sell courses, you can learn yourself by getting me getting access to this case study. And obviously after people watching this video, they don't want to hire an agency. They've just heard about how good Jason Capital is at selling courses and how good his agency is. I can't work with his agency, so I'll do the next best thing, which is to learn from him, which he's just said is probably my best path to success to actually learn. So, copy if you want that. And then, yeah, he goes on to see some other stuff. I don't think it's relevant. So, 
that's like my take on it. Like I actually agree with a lot of the stuff he's saying, but also just remember like with online content like this, there's always like a reason why people say certain things and why they frame things in a certain way. You know, he's not just made this video to be like, Hey, I'm just going to warn people about agencies. Like he's made this video to get people to message him to get access to his case study. So there's always like an agenda behind it, which again, is, is totally fine. Like that's just marketing and sales. Like I'm not making this video out of the good of my heart. Like I'm doing it to build the company's brand up and hopefully get customers at some point in the future, not directly off this video. There's going to be no CTA or anything in this video, but like, obviously there's a point of me making this video again. I'm not just doing it just because I want to, like there's a, there's a marketing principle behind it. And that's just the same with this video. So. That's also like people's opinions and stuff change depending on like why they are creating content. Um, and obviously his whole purpose of this video is to sell his case study. But that being said, for the most part, I actually agree with, with what he says, like trusting agencies can be a tricky thing. And because so many agencies are just so drastically underqualified, if you are looking for an agency partner, I would typically try and find someone who you can be referred to, even if it means you actually going and searching for it and being like, Hey, like, I don't know, in like Facebook groups or masterminds you're a part of, I'm just messaging in there being like, Hey, does anyone have a good agency that they could recommend that they've worked with as opposed to like responding to like cold emails and cold DMS off people? Because, um, yeah, obviously, like I said, there's a, a lot of agencies out there who are massively underqualified and you will most likely waste your money.